All right, today I'm going to be playing with myself for your benefit. We're going to go into a game no pressure at all because I think one of the biggest uh, things for newer players, especially, doesn't really matter the level. Like maybe you start off, you have some basic experience here, or you start off like gold or platinum, uh, get some lucky placements, but especially players who don't play, and I know not everybody has the time to play 20 games a day. So no pressure at all. There's no not going to be any red on the map. There's no reapers. There's no nothing. We're just going to focus on the build. And microing your macro, focusing on your buildings and your infrastructure and all that is going to get you the win 10 times as much as having the sickest medevac micro. All right. It's not flashy. It's pretty boring. But winning isn't. So... So as Terran, the key here, I think, I think, what well, we're gonna try to max out or, or get close to maxing out as quick as possible with reasonable upgrades. We're gonna be aiming for one one bio marines, marauders, medevacs, and tanks. All right, we're gonna get one one and have the option for two two. We're gonna go towards three bases, and I know the scariest thing I've noticed for Terran players is ever taking a third, because it's scary, right? Like, two bases, you can defend with a bunch of siege tanks, but three bases. But it, it, it's not as scary as you think. I think more than most, more than the other races, I think Terran benefits from playing as Zerg and playing as Protoss. Because it's really easy because of the nature of Terran, by the way. As Terran, I'm scouting. I should have scouted around one minute. Eh, close enough. All I'm looking for on the other side... Now, this is this is for all three races. I think easily up to diamond, you can use a very similar build. Yeah, slightly different. Like maybe you'll need a bunker against Zerg or something like that. But I'm gonna go over and well, if you see a hatchery, a nexus, um, or an attempt at a command center, that's what we're looking for. Now, obviously, since I'm playing with myself, I won't see it. But that's the only thing we're looking for. And if they don't have one of those by like 2:15, 2:30 then I might not be able to expand on the low ground here. Uh, that might be risky. I might need to make a bunker. But we're going to assume that they are. I'm going to make one marine after this. And I'm going to make a factory and a second depot. So that was... We're going to send the SCV back home mineral walk. So 16 racks, 17 gas, um, 20... Re well, barracks orbital. And the reason I make a marine after the barracks is because you can't get a factory and build a reactor at the same time. So why not have a marine? The reaper is to confirm scouting. The reaper is not for killing things. Okay. I think this is very important. I've seen so many. If if you get in with the reaper and you kill three probes, but you forget to make two SCVs and uh, your starport, then you did more damage to yourself than you did to him. You might be like, the yeah, sickest Reaper Micro. No, no, not the sickest Reaper Micro. You hurt yourself, all right? You're... And for for purposes here, because sometimes players will just make like a random money use, I'm just going to get a bunker at the front, start working towards a wall. One widow mine, because I don't really have the gas yet. And then the starport immediately. Now, the starport could be for a lot of different things. Like, against Zerg, I might want to make a Viking first. Honestly, you're going to make two starport units early. That's that's kind of up to you what you want to make, but I usually like to make one Viking uh, against Zerg or one Liberator um, against Terran and Protoss. So we're just going to we're just going to hedge our bets. We'll get a Liberator here. And that will be my one attempt at putting on pressure. Get more depots at the front. And getting supply bot. I'll actually drop supply. It's not the end of the world if you have to drop supply. All right. And now I have the 111. There's a couple different splits here. You can either do like an earlier pressure. And I think starting out with the earlier pressure is good. Like, I'm not going to. Like, that would be not taking a third command center. Pretty much, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to build a third command center first. Now, I like the Hockey Deliberator on three. It's just something to throw in there. 
Um, just putting any sort of pressure. Sometimes you'll get lucky. The, the key is to not stare at it. You don't want to be just sitting there staring. Um, because that is the easiest way. It's like, ah, yeah, I'm going to micro this Liberator. And it kills like nine probes. But once again, if you're banking up a thousand minerals at home, it's kind of a hollow victory. Did the engineering bank. Now, I would, if I didn't know what he was doing, I saw it, like, if I didn't know what he was doing, especially for Terran and Protoss, I probably would have got the engineering bay quicker instead of getting a third base quite so quick. So now here's another tactic that I think is really important, uh, is add-on switching. So essentially what I'm going to be doing here is I am going to be building a barracks on this tech lab, and this is just setting me up to have add-ons. We're going to get the engineering bay. I'm going to flip, because right now I don't even have that many marines. Do I need, do I need to have, um, do I need to have medevacs yet? I don't plan on attacking yet. Without stim, without combat shield, without plus one, we're going to get this orbital here. I'm going to start building depots at the edge. And we're going to build another reactor on this. So there's a lot to follow here, and it definitely takes a few tries. I think when you do something like this, especially with Terran, because the order of the buildings matter a lot, like when are you switching them out, are you getting supply blocks, stuff like that. I think playing with yourself like I'm doing right here, you can just follow follow after me, um, is definitely the best. It's very important for Terran especially because of the way builds work for Terran. But if you have a really solid build, and you're able to get all these things, then you're in great shape. Um, but it, it's so easy for Terran to get distracted, and being supply blocked hurts it hurts them the most. i drop some more mules over here. Because um, of their production mechanics. I'm going to add... Honestly, I should have done this way earlier. So a general rule is adding more barracks production between 30 and 40 SCVs. You want to average out... Uh, well, it, for mech, it's different. This is obviously not a mech build. But average approximately as many barracks for every 10 SCVs. So, like, on 30 to 40 SCVs, you, you want to average around 3 racks. On 50 SCVs, 5 racks. And then starport, engineering bays, all that. I'm going to get my armory here. I've got more supply depots on the way. By this point, I should probably have turrets on the edges of the bases as well. And I can get some Marauders mixed in here. I actually, at the higher levels, you don't want to mix in as many Marauders uh, against Terran and sometimes against Zerg because Marines have higher DPS against non-armored units. But I think mixing in Marauders is pretty important. So I should have been doing that already. So the goal here, we have five racks. I use tab to select different ones here. Five, tab, 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 and you get different selection groups. Two more medevacs. The armory is gonna finish. I'm gonna get plus one mech weapons for the tanks. We'll get plus two infantry. Make sure I make more marines. I'm at eight minutes, 68 SCVs. I think 50 SCVs by eight minutes is a good basic goal to have. Oh, you can aim higher than that. Stim probably could have been earlier. I didn't get the barracks as quick as I should have, but the thing with this is you're not going to be able to attack. Um, you're going to be able to threaten. Maybe maybe if they're super greedy, like for some reason they take four bases. But this build is just I'm building a lot of units, and once I have Stim and Combat Shield and Medivax, then I attack. Now, if I had skipped the third CC or delayed it, which you can do, uh, I could have gotten the barracks quicker, which gets stim quicker, which gets everything else quicker. Now, if I would need to spend my minerals, you can just get another command center. At this point in the game, like when, when once you're getting to a third base, that's actually a pretty good time for a sensor tower. These are just these are the broad strokes here. Maybe I could learn to build supply depots at some point, but once again, dropping down supply is not the end of the world. Especially if you're supply block. And this is, if it had just been a two base build, I would have maxed out quicker. Probably around 9.30. It's going to be a little bit closer to 10 minutes here. 
If you can do it within, honestly, 12, 12 minutes, like this is, this is a bill like, the pieces are coming together. Um, and you don't need to have 200 supply. I'd say a good timing to attack is as stim, well, as combat shield is finishing. So, 10 minutes, well, I could have pressed that button, but. And I've got a pretty sizable scary army with upgrades on the way. Usually aiming to start an upgrade, uh, ideally before six minutes. I know, this is not the most perfect show off of the build, but the ideas are important. Like switching barracks over. I see a lot of reactored starports, like they will see a reactored starport on a 1-1-1, and then they'll build two medevacs for six marines. It's like, well, those marines all have uh, uh, very good healthcare plans, but we, we probably should have some more marines. Um, another big one is just either not spending your money because you're focusing like, oh, I'm gonna micro liberator. Oh shit, that's a stalker. Okay, okay, okay. Get it over here. Like, stuff like that. You might get a lot of damage done, but the money banks up and you lose production rounds. It's not like Zerg that can bank up Larva or Protoss that can Chrono Boost to make up some time. Uh, if you lose production rounds, they're just gone as Terran. If you're not producing SCVs right now, there's no saving grace. There's nothing that gets you that SCV potentially back or gives you a buffer. So Terran has very cost-effective harass units, but if you don't micro your macro, if you don't get your barracks up on time, you might kill 15 drones of a Zerg. But if, if that means you made essentially 15 less Marines over the course of a couple minutes, then you're never going to be able to punish them really. So, I think some basic harass, if you really want it, you can go like two liberators, maybe do a light medevac drop early, something like that. But this is, I built a lot of marines, marauders, and tanks, and as long as I don't right click into banelings on creep, or into storms, anywhere, um, and siege up the tanks then, it's, it's gonna do well. Uh, it's not, this isn't supposed to be like, this is how Maru plays, this is supposed to be, Oh, that's how you max out before 18 minutes. And that's how you take a third base without having 14 liberators, 12 tanks, and a planetary. Or taking it in the corner. Keep sending me the replays where people take take the bases in the corner. But don't have them be you. All right. Uh, I'll post the replay link as well. All my replays are available on sc2replaystats.com, but we'll be all specific with this one. Good. 